In previous lesson, we've learned how to create a POST request using React Query, but we did it statically, as you see here, not dynamically. In this lesson, we're gonna create two inputs or three inputs for the name and author and the price, and we're gonna post new box with the values that we enter in those input fields. Okay, now let's create those inputs real quick. It's not a, a UI lesson, so I will create quickly in UI, okay? and you can style it later. So now that's our first text input. Let's create our state here, const for input values and set input values equals to use the state of an object. We need here three things, name of park and the author and the price. So let's put them here and initialize it with inbit strings or let's make this two input string okay now our first text input uh, its value is gonna be input values dot name of the park okay on a change text we're gonna take the text and set input values to return the other values as them and just update the name of park equals to text okay finally the placeholder is gonna be name of park that's our text input our first text input let's create three of them or let's add uh, some styling to, to it first style equals to style styles we didn't import our style sheet we're gonna create our style sheet rns don't forget just to import it. We're gonna put here input, and at the top, the style is gonna be styles.input, okay? Let's add a border width of one. Let's add bedding of 10. Let's add border radius of eight. Let's add border color. Let's make it gray. Okay, that's our first input. Last, let's make margin button. For example 20 or let's make them 10 okay now that's our first input let's take a copy of it let's take two copies of it the first with the name of the book the second is gonna be the author name author name okay and we're gonna change the value to input values dot author and here also dot author okay lastly the price let's make it book price here is gonna be the price change it to and here is gonna put price now let's save now our last step our mutate function so let's copy those values here before our mutate and when we fire the mutate function this function to add a new book the name of the book is gonna be input values dot name of book. The author is gonna be input values dot author. The price is gonna be input values dot price. Now let's press save and try to add a book. Let's change this test to add new book from inputs. Great. Now let's try to add a book with name of the book, new test book. The author is test author. The price is 19. Now let's press save. Let's scroll down. As you see here, a new book with ID 3, with the title new test book, with the author test author, with $19 as price. Let's try to add a new one. For example, the name of the book, let's make it new story. For example, the author called Ahmed, for example, the price is 100. Now let's press save and let's scroll down. Great, we have seen now our new book with the title new story with the author Ahmed with the price $100 what we have right just here that was our lesson to learn how to post request using react query in next lesson we're gonna learn 
how to delete items, how to create a delete request and delete some box from here. And the lesson after is how to update items in React Query. Thanks for watching.